So in this video we're going to talk about the AccuForce settings hierarchy and uh, how to make the most of it. Now it's important to understand that uh, you don't really need to have wrapped your head around these concepts in order to get a great experience with the AccuForce. This is just sort of uh, taking things to the next level. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into the control center here. And uh, we've covered in previous videos uh, that we have an output mixer and, and that you've got uh, you know, a lot of different effect settings that, uh, that you can control uh, you know, for a given game. You can also have a, uh, a settings profile for uh, a given game, car, and track. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to duplicate this uh, iRacing setup that we, uh, that we have out of the box. And uh, just for example purposes, I'm going to say this is for the, uh, you know, the C6R at uh, Line Rock. And um, <clears throat> we know that uh, uh, Lime Rock is a uh, reasonably bumpy track, and we know the C6R engine rumble is uh, is pretty low. So I may come in here and I may say, well, gee, you know, for the uh, C6R, I want a uh, a lower rumble uh, for the engine RPM. Uh, and uh, I want to give some more uh, a more weighty feel to the wheel, so I'm going to you know, bump up my dampening and friction a little bit. Um, and and now I've got a uh, a C6R Lime Rock specific uh, sim setup. So it's important to understand that uh, uh, if you know if we double click this, then we get those AccuForce settings when we go into the game. If we double click this, we get the you know the other settings when we go into the game and uh, uh, you can create as many of these as you like uh, and there's also uh, mechanisms to help you automatically create these so uh, you know, just as a uh, quick example we can say we want to create a new sim setup and uh, we want to create it from a telemetry log and uh, pick a pick a lap that we want to create it from in a template say okay and uh, we've got this new generated profile specifically in this case for the HPD and all of the settings were automatically created for us. So if we were to double click this particular sim setup profile when we uh, get into the game, those are the settings that would be applied to the AccuForce. And so it's, uh, it's very powerful. You can have uh, uh, di distinct settings for uh, any combination of game, car, and track. Now, uh, if you didn't want to utilize the sim commander's uh, functionality, you'd, you'd really be missing out on uh, on quite a lot of cool stuff. We just kind of touched on tip of the iceberg there, but it is possible. Uh, so if you go to the settings tab and uh, hop into the sim device manager and the uh, select the AccuPore steering system, um, there's a few things we can do here. We can uh, set the default mode. So say we wanted our default mode to be high and uh, we could set uh, any of these settings and uh, there are quite a few and we can say that we want to save those settings to the controller so if you never loaded the sim commander uh, software ever again after the point that you saved these settings to the controller uh, you would uh, those would be your your settings it would be then at that point like any other wheel you wouldn't have the flexibility per car track and all that happy stuff but uh, you'd have one fixed set of settings that are just always you know, uh, uh, set on your wheels controller. Um, also while we're here I'll just uh, mention that uh, this is where you can set the wheel center so uh, from time to time we'll get questions uh, could I mount my wheel upside down? Uh, absolutely you can. Uh, you would simply uh, turn the wheel to where you would like the center to be, hit the set wheel center button and, uh, and you're all set. So uh, that covers it. This is a uh, a quick overview of the uh, AccuForce settings hierarchy.